On 23rd August, history was made. India's Chandrayaan-3 touched the lunar south pole, accomplishing the monumental at just $74 million. To put this in perspective, it's a fraction of the budgets of missions and even blockbuster films we've known. Russia's Luna 25, which met a tragic fate, cost nearly three times more. And NASA's Viper rover, nearly six times the price. The cost of Chandrayaan-3 was less than the cinematic masterpieces like Gravity, The Martian and Interstellar. And let's not forget Bollywood's hit Adi Purush. When quizzed on this astonishing frugality, ISRO's director S. Somanath teased with secrecy. But clues emerge. Chandrayaan-3's lightweight frame suggests thrift, as Robert Brown, a space exploration head, elucidated. Yet this mission weighed more than Russia's Luna 25. Here's a thought. Could the iterative nature of India's lunar missions be the magic touch? The shadow of Chandrayaan 2's crash in 2019 looms large, perhaps absorbing some of the financial burdens of its successor. Moreover, the scientists at the space agency achieved this historic success by getting a salary one-third of the scientists in the developed world. ISRO's ethos of economical exploration isn't new. It's a legacy dating back to the vision of Vikram Sarabhai, who saw space not as the final frontier, but as a means to societal good. Rooted in humble beginnings, Isra maximized magic from the minimal. And even as they reach for the stars, this ethos remains the guiding light. Some say that with more funds comes more knowledge. But as the Indian space frontier widens, welcoming private players, one thing seems sure. ISRO's commitment to cost efficiency isn't going anywhere. The legacy of Sarabhai, of achieving the remarkable with modest means, will continue to echo across the cosmos.